All right. It's all right. Yo, maybe. Hopefully it's gonna work. Looting, looting. Okay. Game of weapons. Game setup. Uh -huh, weapons. Hmm. Audio seems pretty good. Let's pump it down just just a smidge. Uh, we need to throws. Yana. Okay, I think that's all we can do. So, this is RC Revenge Pro for PlayStation 2 running on PCSX2 using Auto HDR for a little bit of an HDR to the game here. Um, a little bit of upscaling going on, I think an upscaling to 1440p. It's a 4x3 four by, four by aspect ratio. It seems a little bit off here, um, but that's fine. So this is actually Revolts uh, 2, like the the successor to that game. I don't know why they didn't use Revolt as a you know name. That was a good game. It was uh, received well uh, on the N64 and PC, and yeah, I think that it was mostly good. But I remember the controls for Revolt being a little bit like uh, twitchy. Uh, Fast move. All right, come on. Uh, there might be some interlacing that I need to do here. The interlacing. Can I do that now? I can't see. Come on, come on. Finish loading. Uh, because the aim machine seems a little bit unstable, but okay, it's fine. Pretty fine in game. Here it looks like there are some interlacing things going on. Can I just quickly check graphical display? The interlacing automatic. You know what? Let's let's just uh, go with it. Race. So I haven't really heard of this game at all. I didn't even knew we would, uh, you know, had like an SX successor or Revolt Two or anything. Um. All right. That looks like uh, the car from Cars 2 almost. Or not Cars 2, but from the Cars. Locked. Okay. <laughs> Imprint. Oh. This is kind of weird. This should have like the best uh, handling F that uh, Formula 1 cars. Lots of cars to choose from from the get-go, I guess. This is like the run-of-the-mill car. Lower car. car. But they all seem pretty equal so far. Okay, there's a lot of cars to unlock and a lot of cars to choose from, but let's go with... Uh, with some standard things here. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I know nothing about this. The only thing I read on Wikipedia is that this is more arcadey, which uh, to me feels kind of weird because the Revolt was super arcadey with steering and everything. So, and apparently this one is called RC Revenge for PlayStation and got like decent reviews, and then it was released for uh, PlayStation. One. Two like this, and well, apparently, whoa! Hello? What? Oh, okay, that's holy crap! Steering is even worse than in Revolt. Hey, okay, that's a power up. They have like a that's a break and back. Break, back, and boosh. Not boosh. 
Oh, that's the handbrake. Okay. Where am I even going? Okay, here we go. Um, it's not a positive... Positive... Uh, <laughs> Not a positive uh, impression so far that is left. Steering is... it's analog, but it is... Uh, super bad? Graphic is... you know, it's a sure, but for a PlayStation 2 game, nothing really crazy. And yeah, the steering is... just like in the first Revolt, it's super twitchy. That just makes it uh, really, whoa, challenging to use, and I'm not sure where to go here, so. <laughs> That's the handbrake. That's that and that, alright, I'm gonna check back. Basic controls. Did I not? Oh, I have turbo power. You get boost power. Um, yeah, okay. It is definitely is. Bad that, it, you know, they didn't reuse the. Come on. The reward name. And this is only released on, you know, again, PlayStation and PlayStation 2. And uh, maybe they just uh, didn't feel that it was good because I, I don't know. You started off in uh, Revolt in like a kind of suburban street area setting, and that felt much more fitting to a radio-controlled game, a game where you con or like controlling a radio con radio car like this, an RC car radio control car. This is just some random map it feels like so far. And I also remember there was like a mall setting and stuff like that. It's... Uh, always was a little bit finicky sometimes to know where to go because... OV isn't the best here. But yeah. If they would have released this, you know... PC, I probably would have played it back in the days. Because I still feel that the Revolt, uh, you know, if you, if they could have, if they could have been tweaked, uh, the steering uh, is a, a fun game. Problem is, I don't think this looks particularly better than, whoa, than uh, the original Revolt and. Uh, well, if this was originally for... <laughs> originally like for uh, PlayStation, I see why, and they, you know, then just move the graphic a little bit for the PlayStation T version. Which place am I? Oh, there we go. Terrible, terrible. Uh, yeah, there will not be a... I'm not gonna do a playthrough of this game for sure, it's... Uh... Eh. So far it doesn't really impress in any particular way. The graphics are sharp and everything, so that's a good thing. Land graphic. Third place, okay. Well, it, it's fun definitely to see, uh, do a quick look at uh, this since, again, Revolt, I played uh, quite a lot when it was released uh, on PlayStation and 
uh, not PlayStation, on uh, Nintendo 64 and PC. Was the Revolt on PlayStation? Maybe it was, I don't know. You know, now I'm curious. Now I am curious. We... No. Let me quickly, I'm curious, let, let's see, uh, Rerolled, blah 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 blah, Nintendo 64, Microsoft Windows, Sega Dreamcast, and PlayStation, it was. The original was also on PlayStation. Three, two, one, go! I think I tried, uh, have tried like the Dreamcast version also, but the PC version I... Uh, you know, just the smooth gifts and everything, but I think the green cost was pretty good. Frame rate wise, it ran pretty good. What is this? Oh, oh okay. But the water effects are not uh, particularly great or anything here. This makes me a little bit curious to see if Roll Cage won or where the hell am I going? Where am I going? This way, alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit uh, sometimes difficult to know where, what, which way to go here. But yeah, I get a little bit curious if, if like, um, Roll Cage came out to PlayStation 2. Um, because that is, uh, that was uh, Roll Cage 1 and 2 was out for PC. Yes, I play on a PC, but. It might be a good candidate for like... Okay, I have to go. They... Oof, close one. Uh, they might be a good candidate, candidate for like a PlayStation 2, graphic-wise and uh, performance-wise. All I can say so far is that, yeah, the original one is uh, felt better, and steering is the, the biggest problem with this series, in my opinion. Fit. That, and again, sometimes knowing where you are going the first time. What? Sixth place? Whoa! On the easy difficulty, it's uh, well, it's not that easy. And I don't think the first one I read Revolt was easy either. But this seems a little bit more unfair or weird. <laughs> I would not recommend. I c I can see why it gave this game you know bland reviews, right? The graphic isn't great. Nothing doesn't so far really seem crazier than uh, the first one. This is a fun addition. This actually felt like it might control a little bit better, like a little bit better than the yeah. This controls a little bit better actually than uh, <laughs> uh, the the car. Which is interesting. This one with good uh, like water physics and everything could have been a fun little game in itself. Whoa! Why do you have? The water, the problem here is that the water doesn't seem to have any like physics and any waves or... Okay, that was a fake one, thank you. Like the, the water seems very flat, so I get 
why these goth bland reviews that telling you know that hey you, you did we didn't get the PlayStation 2 for this type of graphics um because that is definitely true you did not buy a Do you know the Fire PlayStation 2 for this graphic? But this is a nice addition to uh, yeah, just the driving the remote control cars. Did we just put an oil splat? Okay. I guess it, well, I guess that could maybe work here, but. It's special when it comes to crack. And just like Mario Kart, uh, you can get ab absolutely destroyed by uh, <laughs> tons of uh, OP uh, upgrades from from your opponents. Okay. But I can see how this could be better for the PlayStation, you know, the graphics might be more fitting to the PlayStation era. Um, but like we have uh, SSX uh, for this game, you have like Ridge Racer, one of them, and yes, this is not uh, really close to those games. We have Tony Hawk. Pro Skater games and it all felt the more oomph to graphical. Oh no, Pro Skater 3 maybe even. I don't know if this came out like in the early development... Okay, wrong way. <laughs> early development cycle of PlayStation 2 or on the mid or late. If it is in the early stage of PlayStation 2, it's... Uh, crap. More... Oh. Yeah, knowing where to go here is like definitely problematic. You kind of like have to memorize the tracks. This is definitely a better track than the what we started off with and the the boat track. There seem to be some nice, you know, unlockable cars and stuff, so... Yeah, it's not a great track design or anything. <laughs> the car design are, uh, are pretty nice, but the handling again is uh, crap. It's unfortunate. Fifth place? Oh. For easy difficulty, or the first difficulty, it's uh, quite a brutal one. And I don't know really how to do a lot of better. But I have my handbrake I could have used. Seems like it might be a shortcut to take if you go. Yeah, okay. Wow. See? Really? <laughs> I'm not sure this is gonna be one hour. Let's try. Um, man, yeah, this is not a. 
compared to Revolt, uh, this is not holding up. <laughs> I think even the Revolt uh, on the PC had like nicer graphics than this one. What the hell is that floor? This is weird looking floor. Okay, sorta of interesting track, but no, nothing special. I need to use the handbrake more for many times here. If we are on a farm, we went to like a weird clown house thing. But all this uh, kind of OP power up seems to really make this. Uh, in a weird racing game. Do, 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 do. Like Mario Kart has uh, you know OP racing uh, uh, power up, but this has uh, just seems a little bit weirder. Whoa! Sixth place from oh, second to sixth. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes. Uh, Good sense, right? Ooh. This is not a good... Uh, this floor is a really... Ooh. Funky. I feel I'm like doing pretty like good reasonable racing lines but I don't think I'm not since I'm getting very much destroyed I feel like I'm not gonna make it to like the first cup even I'm not catching up good uh, speed to the opponents. Was this the way to go and not the... Uh... Oh, that's the shortcut. But if you have to take the shortcut to make it, that's uh, kind of... Wow, you uh, seem to... Save a lot of time, that's not good. You kind of have to use the shortcut to get the... Uh, to get the good placing. Come on! Now I'm gonna get passed right by car? No? Second place somehow? Or oh, that's going to change really soon. Was the shortcut here? Was. Uh, where was it? Not there. It's up here. So yeah, so to get a good placing, like, you gotta hit, like, the shortcut.
that makes uh, this shortcut feel a little bit OP. Okay, total ranking is number two so far. We're still in it, we're still in here, had a little bit of chance to get a good placement here, or decent placement. Okay, what? Okay, so I was thinking that could have been a shortcut, but no. Is there a restart? No. Not a restart. Uh, no restart of the, of the track. I do think, is it uh, in Mario Kart that they have like uh, three, three restarts per track? Then you just uh, can't do it anymore? Maybe it's some other game. That was that a shortcut? Could have been. Yep, looked like it. Again, that's so sh That looked like a decent shortcut, not too super OP, but still. Alright, you can toss some upgrades uh, forward and backwards. Yep. This, oh sh! There's a long lap here. I still don't. Uh, did it do? Have not memorized any of the shortcuts. So I'm probably not. Like gaining places is really finicky without the shortcuts. It seems. Maybe if you use one of the much. Uh, much faster car so Yeah, this is just a very tiny little shortcut, but again, whoa! From 6th place to 2nd place. These little shortcuts are a little bit too powerful. And the music, yeah. Not my style, and it doesn't seem uh, too crazy here. Very simple and a bit repetitive here, right? But they, they, I, I get why they did get the it's a way thing. <laughs> it just doesn't feel like uh, anything too solid here. Or uh, the PlayStation, maybe I can see it quite just a reasonable. Ratings. It's a little bit more of uh, like a rework game, so it's fine. What? 
wrong. It's, it's a little bit cheeky that uh, like the, the NPC is taking the shortcuts. I haven't seen that in many games, racing games, before that the NPC takes uh, shortcuts. It's usually that the shortcuts are just for, you know, players. does seem to have a little bit of a problem here with PCSX2 with like the correct interlacing. Okay, second place. That's a something. Uh, can I go back? So, best time, game progress. <laughs> Okay, I guess you unlock cars by coming first place or something like that. That's a good to have that, and you have a track editor, that's cool. Maybe that was in the first one also, the world, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe we should try one more championship, uh, we need a different car, right? That's a fast, but handles like crap. Good acceleration. No? Hello? Oh wow, Do, did I have to win to unlock the next? I can't. Oh, that sucks. You have to win to... You have to win to, uh, to get the, like the best, uh, <laughs> to get the next uh, championship unlocked. Wow, I'm just gonna try the F uh, Formula One car here, but then I'm done here with the last try. Yeah, this was kind of meh. No, not really. I wish there was a more of a like a revolt. I could see a really good possibility for like a solid remake. You know, you have the concept and maybe some of the track, but you expand and graphically and this controller-wise and just oomph up with more Three, two, online play and more. Um, maybe it was online play for the PC version. I don't remember. But yeah, just oomph up a lot and. Could be a, a really good candidate for remake. I still haven't uh, memorized these tracks because they are. I don't know the shortcuts. Oh, they're not, not not too crazy about this uh, track layout. Felt a little bit more memorable in the uh, evil. Hello? Seventh place, man. And that's probably just because I haven't hit the shortcut, so. And that's it. The NPC should not be using the shortcut, it should be there to help regular players have a chance. <laughs> Even with like the fastest car here, I'm just not doing good. How can that dude be speeding past the Formula 1 car here yeah, that's like the fastest one?
Just pure chaos. I don't know. Wow, you, you go from like second to last in just one bump of the car. And catching up is like really, really, really difficult. Again, if on the easiest cap, you know, your car should have some possibility of catching up at least. <laughs> I can't, I'm getting just destroyed by the, all the other cars. Even though this was one of the fastest one. Finish this right maybe we can you can't you can't even exit can you? you there you can. Yeah no I think it's good for the last try here. Huh, or say Revenge Pro Revenge Pro is not a good PlayStation 2 game. Maybe RC Revenge for the PlayStation fits. Maybe you know it's just uh, Weird that they changed the name and, and that it's supposed to be more arcade feeling. I feel the steering feels pretty much just as crappy as in the original. I don't know how they managed to make the tracks so much worse. Because <laughs> they really are not good. <laughs> so, yeah, let, let's exit here and not revisit that one again. Um, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more coming up, and you can like, leave a comment, uh, maybe you really love this game, comment about that, or if you, you know, whatever, and uh, have a great day, till next time, bye!